Hey guys, Loaded Tech here. So today we'll be solving a problem that I have with my case here. So as you can see, I have an Asus, I mean, I have a Gigabyte B450M motherboard. However, it doesn't include the header for the USB-C port that I have on my um, H510 case. So what I will be doing is, this is a relatively cheap solution compared to the others, it's $27. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be plugging this into a PCIe, plot, a PCIe slot. And as you can see, you see the USB um, 3.1 header there for the USB-C. So let's just open this up, check what's inside. Take this out. All right, so dump it out. All right, I'll give you a couple of stuff by the looks of it. So you got the PCIe device itself, you got a small cd i don't know how you're gonna use it on a computer but you know they still give that and they also give you a smaller bracket if you want to have like there is an additional usb port so if you want to have half of your um back slots open you could run a usb cable through it so let's take this out see what's inside pull this right out right. oh my god shouldn't have done that static electricity you know but yeah, this is what you're looking at. So you got the USB, internal USB 2.0 port. Then you got the USB 3.1 uh, Gen 1, I believe, for the USB-C header. So what we're just going to do is we're just going to go in there, just plug it in, hook it up to the USB-C header so I can get it working. Because as you can see, when I was buying my motherboard, I didn't actually plan this quite well. But, you know, I think some of you guys might be in the same situation. So, you, you know, something like this would be great. And, you know, if it does work, as it's saying, oh, it's actually Gen 2, by the way. So it is faster. So if it does work, you know, it's an easy, cheap solution for only $27 compared to others who are charging you like $70 just to do this, like the mainstream brands. So, yeah, let's check it out. I'll start putting it on. I'll show you guys how it looks. All right, so I got everything ready on the computer. I took out the side panel and I just moved it up, you know, unplugged it. So I have this right here. This is the PCIe board. So what you're gonna do is simply just take out one of the slots in the back right here. And what you're gonna do is just grab this, take it the right side up and just line it up there, back there. And you just take one of your PCIe slots. It doesn't matter if it's an X4 or X16. You just take it in and you just hook it up right there. And I'll just give you guys a quick update. So subscribers are asking about the tube. So essentially this tube is actually not long enough to go the proper weight upside down. So that's the reason why I couldn't do it. And another question a subscriber had was also the fan. So if you're facing the logo, you know, as in you don't have this backing right here, that's gonna be your exhaust. So the air is gonna go out towards the back. And if you want intake, you would have to face it this way. So you'd have air coming in. So this side air comes in, that side air comes out. That's the mistake I made in one of my videos. However, I have corrected that. So that's what you're looking at. And we're just gonna hook everything up and I'll just show you guys how it looks like. All right, as you guys can see, I put in the PC USB-C header uh, and this is how it looks once you put it on. So it does stick out a little. However, if you have something like a Founders Edition RTX 3070, 3080, or any other graphics cards with the down facing fans, you would have to do something like this, but it doesn't really affect airflow because it's just a tiny bit of it. And once you just put it into you, you know, any of your PCIe slots, you'll just take the USB 3.0 header here and you would just plug it into the case. As you can see right here, just go underneath and you just, uh, you see this metal part right here. And you do have to do it without looking essentially if it's a smaller case like mine, but if it's a bigger case, it's quite easy. And as you can see, I just hooked it up right here. So what we're gonna do next is I'm just gonna boot up the PC and show you guys how it's working, if file transfers are working, you know, if it's charging my phone and everything like that, and check it right now. All right, as you guys can see, we have everything started up. I plugged everything in, it's right there, the PCIe header for the USB-C, and we're just gonna take it and just plug it in on top here. So I got this Pixel phone right here, so I'm just gonna grab it, just plug it in right here, see what happens. Okay, and as you can see, it's gonna be detected by the phone. Windows Explorer pops up and I'll just have to give it file transfer permissions so I can show you guys that it works. And there you go, it shows the internal storage and everything. It's actually pretty neat. And as you can see, everything is right here. 
All right, so I have a quick update for you guys a few days later. So the thing is, I've been using it with other devices, and the thing is, I haven't been able to get it working. I downloaded the drivers and everything like that, which you shouldn't have to do. However, all this thing does is just charge, and based on some of the negative reviews on Amazon, this is the reason why. It doesn't work. You can't do any file transfer or anything like that. It also has driver errors within Windows Explorer. So I troubleshoot and everything. I actually would not recommend this and there might be the reason why it's actually a cheaper price and maybe it's because you know it's not well optimized and all that so what i would probably recommend is you guys get it from a like a reputable brand instead of like a third party one like this because as you can see it's not working at all i also purchased another of this but i had the same issue three days later so i wouldn't really recommend this product you know it does have its fault but unless you want to like let's just say you want to use it for charging and all that it's perfectly fine but if you wanted to do like data transfers i would not recommend that all right then i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching please leave a subscribe and also comment on my video let me know what i can do to improve my future videos in this one and also leave a like and you guys enjoy the rest of your day thanks for watching